Did you know that every time somebody 3D prints the Yoda bus model from Barack Mosh, time is rewritten, and the prequel trilogies get one more second of Jar Jar Binks in them. Hey everybody, it's a 3D printing professor, and yes, I finally jumped on and printed my own Yoda bus. There are a lot of phases of the fandom of 3D printing. One of those phases is your 3D printing goggles where everything can be 3D printed. Hey guys, that could be 3D. Hey guys, could that be 3D printed? Maybe. And then the other phase of it is this indignation at people printing useless trinkets that, that aren't functional at all and aren't helping people. There's a lot of argument about why we shouldn't be doing this, but I want to defend the trinkets for just a minute. I find it incredible that some people worry that 3D printing can't be used for useful things. And yet somehow I still occasionally get the question, people saying, can it be used for anything useful? Which the answer is, of course it can. It can be used for anything. But then why is the only thing that we see printed with 3D printing that the silly trinkets? Well, it's kind of the same reason why Facebook seems to be showing everybody having a good day. Because we cherry pick the things that we post on Facebook and we cherry pick the things that you see by liking the good stuff and ignoring the bad stuff. In the same way, there are a lot of useful 3D prints that happen. They're just not as interesting and, and certainly not as shareable as a really cool and high detail Yoda model or I think Groot is the new one that I guess I better get on printing if I want to stay on the bandwagon. Some people don't see the value in the trinkets. All they see is the mess. Sorry, honey. But do these trinkets in and of themselves have any value besides aesthetic? Well, yeah, actually. It's, it's interesting to note that the people who print a lot of trinkets are really good at 3D printing. And that's because... Well, these are practice. They're, they're little mini lessons in 3D printing. Heck, I learned something when I printed this one, and I know tons about 3D printing. What I learned was that I had my slicer settings wrong and was still setting things for the 0.6mm uh, nozzle that I no longer had on there. And so I learned that my slicer settings were wrong and that I needed to fix them. His ear has a 0.8mm section in here that... With a 0.6 millimeter nozzle, it turns into a gap, but the moment I change it back to a 0.4 millimeter nozzle, it filled in the ear properly. Yeah, that is really thin right there. If you wait until you have a useful thing to print to try 3D printing, you're going to have a bad time because you're going to be up against, no doubt, a deadline trying to make something work when you don't have the skills to do it and you're learning things that you should already know. So printing a few trinkets, playing a little bit with 3D printing before you get to that point where you need to have your 3D print is really a good thing. The other argument that I hear a lot is that if people only see 3D printers making knickknacks, then that's going to be all that they think that they're worth and good for. And that's, that's kind of fair. But I say let the trinkets happen anyways. Don't berate somebody for making a trinket. If you see somebody sharing their Yoda head bottle that they made, don't tell them you should, should stop sharing your knickknacks celebrate with them. This is their Yoda head, their success. They made it and it was a learning process and they got better. They learned something about it. One thing that I love about the Yoda model is it teaches you just how far you can push the overhangs sometimes. The other thing about 3D printing is that it can do useful things with flair. You can take those those useful boring objects and spice them up with with Maybe you'll take the Yoda head and remix it into a cup holder. When my neighbor needed a doorbell button, I put a muffin on there for her because she's into muffins. When I needed a holder for some of my tools for 3D printing, I put a chess set around there because I'm into chess sets. When I needed a card holder, it got some Chinese lions on there because Chinese lions are cool. The thing is, the useful stuff can be enhanced with some knickknacks and trinkets so that they don't have to be 
just straight useful and that's something that 3d printing is very good at now, of course taking the time to remix these designs and give them a little bit of flair does take a little bit of time and effort and so maybe you just want to stick with the useful stuff well that's fine 3d printing can do that too the thing about 3d printing is that it's in many ways limitless that there's no end to the things that it can do so it's almost a crime to try and limit it even to limit it to say that we shouldn't be printing knickknacks. No, let it be completely unlimited. If somebody prints something that you don't agree with, let them have it. In fact, I say celebrate that with them because the knickknacks, the trinkets, they have value. That was a, a success, a celebrate successes in 3D printing. I wanna thank you very much for watching. As always, safety first, and I'll see you next time.